If I walk 10 steps, I used to lose it, lose my breath altogether. All my strength in my body used to go because I couldn't breathe. And it was hospital every time. It's going to be with me forever. You can treat it and keep it on an even keel. Some days are good, some days are bad. It's made a huge difference to my life, really. It enabled me just to, to keep going. One of my um, pastimes had been foraging for wild fungi in the woods, and I'd really been unable to do this. I just ran out of breath. Whereas with the backpack, you're free. You're independent, it doesn't matter what the terrain is. You can go up hills in muddy patches, whatever. It's just great to have that freedom back again. Nothing hard about it, living with oxygen. It's great, it's fantastic. It becomes one of the items of my life now. When I have to do certain things, I use it to clean all my housework myself. Whatever I eat, I do it myself. I don't have a carer, and my family were very, very happy when they found out that I was getting this oxygen. It made them feel more comfortable, and I feel stronger. I do, I feel a lot stronger like how I used to be. Initially, I was concerned because I, I felt it was going to be another hindrance. I was very depressed. I, I was just extremely reluctant to appear in public with a bottle strapped on your back and uh, parade around as such. Self-conscious. I'm an Englishman. <laughs> and, uh, I guess initially being different um, and drawing attention to myself in, in, in that manner. When I was first told I needed oxygen, I got a bit worried actually. And when it arrived, I started to get that anxiety feeling that I didn't actually want that, you know, and I had to use it all the time, 20 hours a day, more or less. You know, when I first went to sleep with it, it was affecting me and because that machine makes a noise and it was affecting me for a while. Emotionally, it was quite overwhelming because the thought of having to use oxygen, you only think about it as somebody being in hospital. If I go back, the very, very first time I actually went out in public was when I went to my local post office. And one of the guys there who normally used to serve me, he just moved away, he couldn't deal with it um, when he saw me come in with the oxygen. So it was a shock for me because I felt very, very sad, very, very, very sad that, you know, um, the reaction. I've gone to stand at the bus stop and I've, you know, I remember this woman a couple of years ago, she actually put her Sainsbury's bag down so that I wouldn't sit next to her because it was as if I, I had some kind of a disease or I expected me to do the X on you, you know what I'm saying? Of course I felt embarrassed because this little kid came up to me. Mommy, look. I goes, yeah, I'm out of space, mate. <laughs> and the mother laughed, you know. But people have to get you, you don't see people with it outside. But gradually, you most probably will. And if you're comfortable without it, you, you're no good. You don't worry about people, you're living. Well, it's a lifesaver. It's not a dream ticket. It's a hard, hard, hard one. Because suddenly you're limited. However, you shouldn't let the limitations rule you. There's nothing greater than fear than fear itself. So you, 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 you've got to be fearless about this one. You've got to be fearless about the looks. You've got to be fearless about the stigma. You've got to be fearless about the people around you, your immediate family not um, being able to cope. Do you know what I mean? There's all kind of emotional journey that you go through. It really makes a difference. No, it's fantastic. I, it's just part of me now. You know, it's like my shirt or my trousers I've got to put on. And it comes naturally, you know. 
It's like being married after a few years, you get used to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The name for uh, biambulatory oxygen that I've adopted is, is a, a rocket pack because it rather looks like um, the device Flash Gordon used to use to uh, get around in his, uh, his films and thereby became Roger Rocket. I think that's nice because I feel a bit like Flash Gordon when I've got it on and zapping around in, in the park. I'm not self-conscious at all now. I, I, I forget that I've actually got it on. I, I'd say don't be self-conscious, just use it and forget that it's there because very quickly you, you will forget that, that you're using it. I think one of the hardest things is remembering to get your order in for, for new cylinders. You, you've got to be quite disciplined in this. You just have to know that you will go through stigma. You will go through people looking at you in a funny way. But you can cope because if you don't want to end up staying indoors and just being by yourself and not doing anything, then you've got to go out there and face it. It's like, it's like a leap of faith. Every time you open your door and go out, it's a leap of faith to face the public. It is, trust me. I think what I have learned from the, the experience is that um, I was silly in initially being hesitant and doubtful about using the device. Because once I did, it was great. And all of a sudden, I've come from nowhere to being more or less normal, you know. Yeah, that's a lifesaver. Yeah.